Hey, Captain Mike from Forbes Fishing, and I am with Sean Hickey of Everglades Boats, and we are on the refreshed uh, 335cc, and we're at the uh, New York uh, Boat Show. Sean, uh, thank you for joining me today. You're very welcome. It's good uh, to be here. Uh, beautiful boat. Uh, I think this is my next boat, so I'd love for you to do a walkthrough uh, for sure. me and show me all the uh, features, uh, especially after the refresh. Yeah, well, this is really exciting for Everglades because they finally have introduced the, uh, the a, a new and updated version of the 335, which is a which is one of the uh, iconic boats that uh, that Everglades has been building. Uh, it's it's grown out of. Um uh, a boat that was actually designed in the early in uh, early 2000s. So uh, it's now become the uh, the 335, and this is the newest version here. So what they've done of a lot of really nice improvements up to the bow of the boat up here. If you can see, it's, they've done a, a U-shaped seating up here with a table that's actually electric that will uh, will actually come up and down. So you can make it into a casting deck, which is really nice because a lot of the times the center consoles, you're boarding them from the bow because the engines are in the way. So you can step on and off really easily. Or now, Sean, I could stand on that and cast from it? A absolutely. Yeah, this becomes underneath here, if you notice, the, the table is actually non-skid. So they make it all non-skid. So when I get to this level here, I can stop at the, at the casting deck. Or what I really like is that I can bring it all the way down into the deck and hide it. It's so not it a tripping. Flush. No, you know, no so uh, tripping on it or yep, anything like nobody's that. Nobody's tripping on it, so I'll stop right there. The um, all the Everglades are equipped with the uh, the rod holder cup holders up here. All of the, the 335s. Um, you got you have two here, two in the, right off to the side here. So there's four. Those are cup holders and they're rod holders. And then down below here is you've got a um, in here in the locker a, a, win, a windlass, okay, which can free fall. You have controls up here. Uh, the uh, the boat the boat is going to come with the anchor rod and the chain. It's a stainless steel plow anchor with a cleat off inside as well. Now is that a saltwater wash down? That's a that? that's a freshwater uh, um, basically faucet in yep. order to wash things down as yeah. they come up. Very yep. nice, very nice, and mm -hmm. a cleat, safety cleat there. Yep, excellent. Uh, Sean, you know what I, I see that I really like. Um, I had to move my running, I have a center mounted running light mm -hmm. on my boat and when I put the uh, trolling motor on the bow, I actually had to move them because now I was blocking sure. you know, one side uh, uh, from other boaters. So I like having the two separate ones. Have them split like that, so I, I, I like it too. And it's all LED lighting as well. Very nice. These seats all storage? Yep. Here we go. Whoa, lights in there. Holy there's all, it's all lighted, and if you notice, they all have ga uh, gas assist shocks on them. And uh, Everglades goes the extra mile. You see a lot of companies that will use plastic fittings right at the real, yep. the major stress point. They go the extra mile. It doubles the cost of the, of the gas shock, but it, 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 it serves its purpose, right? It's durable. This is opening and closing constantly. You don't want to put plastic at a weak point. You know what I really like, Sean? The, with the gaskets stuck yep. on the door, I don't run a risk of, uh, when I'm cleaning down here, I don't run a risk of tearing the gasket because it's it's always stuck to it's, the, it's always, always stuck, stuck to the lid. That's right. And I it's, like that. It's all recessed in there. Everything's finished in there too. Yeah. Beautiful. You also have storage on both sides in the seats here. All right, let's open one of them. Again, lighted. Oh, got my. And that's got the lamp. That's the ladder for the dive door, Excellent. or the, the utility door, as you like to call it. Now these drain overboard. That's correct. Okay. Everything drains overboard on an Everglades. If it's on the deck, if it's a cup holder, they're, they're plumbed. Okay. They're plumbed to go overboard. Um, if it's a, a cup holder, rod holder, all of that's plumbed and run run onto the deck and then go directly overboard. Now, Sean, if I order new, if I order rod holders from the factory, they'll all be plumbed in as well. If, if anything that comes from the factory will be plumbed in. That's okay. correct. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, in deck storage here. Yep. And then here's the additional storage in the deck. Again, lighted. I could fit my trolling motor batteries yeah, in there's, here nicely. There are, yep, absolutely. There's a, there's, a, there's a lot of room in here. And that it goes drains, pretty far forward, and that drains again. Yep. That one will drain overboard. Excellent. Uh, the backrests, these, are, uh, these must be an upgrade, the Teak finish. Yeah, these are, are, are made by Release Marine. They're Teak. They're beautiful. They're removable if you like to. They, pull, they, they pin and pull out. Um, they've also... Uh, 
you know, they, they, you can you can remove the cushions if you want to on on both sides. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's there's. Snaps oh, they on slide them. out sideways. It snaps like... in and they pull out. Yep. Very cool. All right, what's this rod storage? This is this is rod storage. So they they look short, but they go very deep inside the gunnel because of the way that uh, that Everglades foams their boats. There's a lot of open space up the sides that you can utilize. Yeah. So in I... here. It looks like a shorter box, but it, it will. It does take, look it, like a short box, uh, maybe easily. not even three feet wide, but it's mm -hmm. on an angle. So I'm mm -hmm. guessing it's easier. You know, it's you, all goes forward. You That's insert correct. your rods uh, from the rear. From the rear, going forward. Yep. Excellent. And it works. It doesn't look like it. There's a lot of room in there, but there's plenty of room in there for your 30s and your 50s. Sean, this uh, front seat configuration uh, looks like the most comfortable around. Yeah, this is one of the signature things that that Everglades has done since day one. Uh, it, making sure that Cup they have holders. seating that, so that everybody's comfortable. The, the seating is usually a, a thicker cushion. It's got a nice drop down with stainless steel cup holders and stainless steel uh, fasteners and fittings all the way around. Uh, nothing, nothing is uh, is uh, skimped on with the, at Everglades. Absolutely you know, they, they, they use the finest of, of all, all the products. Okay, you know this is a front section of view of the actual uh, something that's unique to Everglades is this opening and closing windshield. Right. This is uh, this actually will open all the way down. It's, uh, it's all about safety with Everglades. This is a, this eliminates the glare, so you never have to leave the helm. It also, you know, for like myself, my captain a lot, I wind up at the helm and everybody's up for, forward. You can't hear them. I, I can't hear them. So now I open this up and I can, I can be part of the party. And I can docking, I can talk to the people as well. Plus this has a wiper with a washer built right into the freshwater system of the boat. You know, people tease me about uh, wanting a, a windshield wiper all the time in my boat. We take waves over the bow yeah. all the time. Yeah. I mean, and, and once the salt dries up, you once need the salt, a way, you can't you, it's, it's you all, can't see anything. You can't see anything. So this just gives you that ability to give the you know the, the one swipe across and and clear it for you. I think if you're going offshore, it's an absolute necessity. That, I agree. Uh, Sean, I got to stop and uh, check out the. I, I, I'm uh, been having issues with my the how hard difficult it is to deploy my riggers, uh, yep. and these look really easy. Simple, simple as can be. So when you're when you're when you're in the, the this mode here, I can crank them up or down, and if I come over here, I can spin them out. As you can see here, I have to stand up on my gunnel. Yeah, and this is the in the ocean again. Safety is first, right? To try keep, to do keep, that. Keep you inside the cockpit as much as you can, and then they just spin out you know, normally. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there it is. Right like that. Yeah. Up and down. There we go. And carbon fiber, nice and light. Very light. Wow, this console has gotten some changes for uh, 2024, huh? Yes. So, um, in following the DNA of all the new models of Everglades, they've uh, they've moved into a um, a really good partnership with Garmin Marine. And Garmin works with them to, uh, with with their electronics, but also their digital switching systems. It's based on the Empire Bus system. It's uh, it's proprietary to Everglades, so Everglades work and customize it to what they exactly wanted on there. And I can control everything right from the right from the screen here. So these are 22-inch screens, by the way, which is really, um, you know, considerably bigger than a lot of the other manufacturers are offering. There is no this, real estate wasted. No. <laughs> this year, too, by the way, this is a material called Phoenix Board, and Phoenix Board is very unique. It's actually self-healing. So if I scratch it a little bit, it actually will heal itself and clear it, itself up. It's, it's pretty sharp uh, um, material. I just like um, how it's dull. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's not going to, I don't think I'm going to get glare in my That's face off of, uh, off of that. And that was the idea, to keep that, keep that from, with too much glare in there. So, mm -hmm. but uh, on the on the Empire bus system, I can run I can run all my lights, I can run all my pumps, I can run on the um, in, you know on, on this boat doesn't have air conditioning, but other boats I, I, I could do that. Um, it's also a smart system, so I can tap things on and then it'll turn itself off for it. So it's not like I'm turning on a toggle switch where I'm going to leave a pump run dry. These will it, it'll it'll turn itself off. Um, if I'm in the fishing mode. If I have a, a, a fish box pump, I can press this, the fish box, I can press it once real quick and it'll only run for five minutes, or I can hold it and it'll go uh, continuously until I turn it off. So those are all things uh, like, you know, instead of having to hold an old I toggle have to switch. I have to hold mine up. Yeah, you have to hold it on uh, a lot of the other ones. This doesn't, ha it doesn't, you don't have to do that. I love that. So also, I love this. So, um, so when I do come on here, I got all my spreader lights, if I want to bring them up. I can do a percentage, so I don't have to be fully blasting my neighbor at night with all my with all my spreaders. I can set them down a little bit and tone them down a little. Or if I'm only on one side of the boat that I need them, I can shut them down to the other. So each one is individually yeah. controlled and on dimmers. And if I want to turn them all off at once, boom, I can turn them all off at once. That's really nice. And, really and every time I turn something on on the boat, 
We well, have it's, a visual. It's going to visual on here, right? So what I love about it too is I'm on the helm. So when you come to this, this is a systems page. I can turn the pump on from here. I can also trace out all my. I can see my fresh water system. I, I love that yeah. you have a sending unit. I have a sending tank. unit and, <laughs> and on a holy tank, and it also shows me on here where those are. So I have a locator. Where's my fresh water tank? Oh, here it is in the back because it's the light blue. Then I have my uh, my fuel tank, which is green, and I have my my holding tank up forward, which is my uh, um, which is yellow. Okay, and then um, I can run all of my fishing equipment from here, all my pumps from here as well. I got I've got uh, lights galore that I can run, underwater lights standard, and then I can come back up. This is my helm section here, and as I turn on my nav lights, they'll come up on the front of the on the on the screen there, right? Um, if I turn on my fresh water pump, it comes on there. The world water pump, it's coming back here. That so those little icons are actually located where those pumps are. So if I'm trying to trace them down, I can look to this and it'll give me a reference point. That's incredible. Okay. What and a, then, what a nice and then let me show you. Let's let, let's do the uh, um, the windshield here. Yeah, this would be a godsend when I'm leaving at two in the morning and I got glare off the uh, off the marina. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I never have to leave the helm when I'm running the boat. So many times you see people having to go like this. And you know, when you do that, you're away from your controls, you're that's, away from your that, That's me. Boat. Right, so here I, I lower it, I'm, I've got good visibility. And, and I like I said up before, I, I, I like to be able to have good communication to the person on the bow if they're helping me to dock, if they're anchoring. You have somebody up at the windlass, now I can communicate with them, I'm not yelling around the console. Hey, Sean, I couldn't help but notice. I mean, we spent a lot of time on the uh, on the new control system, but we also have redundant switches. That's correct. For... So the Empire bus system has five levels of redundancy. So what's really nice about it is, you're, you, you, you know, when digital switching started started coming out, people were like, "Whoa, is that is that going to be uh, reliable?" So. The Empire bus system has been very reliable for us, but if for some reason that the Empire bus failed here, I can use my membrane switches up here, right? If my membrane switches were to fail, I can also use Active Captain, so I can run it from my phone or my tablet in there, okay? The, and then I also can do um, what's called, you can go actually go to the control box down below, and I can run it from those directly, right? Uh, or put power right to the unit it's all but there, you know, so so there are ways around it's not you're not you're not uh, dead in the water yeah if, the, if someone to come in here and smashed my screen or took my screen or something like that I can still operate the boat I mean I wasn't even necessarily thinking about a failure I was thinking about like I like to dedicate like I'll leave maybe one of my transducers up on one, when I'm fishing this. one transducer on one screen maybe one transducer on another the notion of switching over to another screen to get switches for right. something that I'm using frequently is kind of nice it's 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 it's, it's it's what you use mostly. You, as you know, if you're a rough water uh, captain, you know it's it, you know tapping through touch screens can be a little bit challenging. So you want to be able to go to a quick yeah. thing right here, and that's and that's what the Everglades was thinking was you know um, you know we run the boats uh, and. Uh, there's a lot of research done on what the captains need, so they put the they put the switches up here that they felt they were going to use. Okay, it's even that like you put the they put the uh, engine uh, the, the yep. screen up there because I can bring it right down to the uh, to the Garmin. I don't need the, I don't need all of that. So they're keeping this clear for for real good visibility on your electronics. Yeah, this is one of the cleanest mm -hmm. dashboards uh, I've seen. It, it is, and this all this all this release teak, beautiful teak inlay. You know, even even in the release seating at the helm here. Three wide seating. Yep. With bolsters. Bolsters, very comfortable. Is this Split where we get out here. our batteries? Yeah, here you go. See? So you can see everything at Everglades. All the wiring is done and all the harnesses are made at Everglades, custom to each boat. So instead of trying to stretch a certain uh, harness for multiple boats, it's made specifically for this boat. And you can see the layout, it's very easy to get to everything. Everything is labeled. Mm -hmm. um, you have a remote switches for your battery, so you don't have to go down in here every time you want to turn them on. But it, the accessibility is, is, is there. And um, it's uh, all machine sweds, copper, uh, tin copper wiring. You know, the, what a thoughtful use of space here, too. I yeah. mean, uh, they, you get a little extra storage there, too. Yeah. Yep. Heck, they had the, had the space. Why not use it? Mm -hmm. Great. You can see the doors over there, also on both sides. There's tackle storage. Yeah, Sean, I got to go in here because uh, I'm a fi I, I fish, yep. and, a, and a lot of my viewers fish. Um, this is just one side. Yep. The other uh, side's got a little more storage to it as well. This one has a nice drawer. 
and the big the big, the bigger pulley the, the bigger poly boxes plastic boxes yeah it's funny I'm showers up. fresh water shower nice and a big change for 2024 is this uh, beautiful mezzanine seat. Mm -hmm. So we have a footrest. We have a cooler. That's a cooler right there. Inductive chargers on the sides as well for your, uh, so when you drop down here, you got here, this is for your cell phones. There's chargers in there. So you drop your cell phone and it'll charge. Very nice. Okay. You got a uh, big live well back here. It's all lighted. Um, gigantic fish box. I don't know if this is going to show up, but these are leaning. These are at a wonderful angle. Yep. These are actually yep. comfortable. I've seen a bunch of these on boats, Sean, where they're uh, basically vertical. They you know, paid. They paid a lot of attention to the contour because there's nothing worse than having to sit straight up or even like, or even leaning forward a little bit. It's comfortable to sit in. You'll spend a lot of time in there. It's great, you know, just for entertaining or when you're fishing, if you're, if you're trolling. Um, in the back here, as you can see, we've got we've got what really nice seating in the back. So, three quarters but, of the boat has seating in. in on so the so clever how the backrest uh, kicks up. Uh, yeah, it comes up. I mean, you can see uh, all stainless steel, all of the fittings, everything yep. is stainless steel here. And protected on the inside from my fish jumping around yep. and, and hooks, flying hooks. Real big box with separators. Yeah. I like that because I can fill one with ice, I can fill some with drinks, I can put fish or I can put bait. This is easily uh, six feet wide, five. Oh, it's it absolutely because the every you know, bit of six is, feet it's, wide. It's, it's, it's definitely six feet. And all, all insulated. Rocket launchers across the back. Wow. This is like the nicest build I've ever seen. Everything's finished. Everything's finished, everything's clean. Everything's Good accessibility. Accessible. Two transducers. Yep. Got our bilge. Got two. Oh, we got a bilge back there. That's a fish. This is live well, right? That's correct. Live well and wash down. And I, I'm assuming this is where a uh, sea keeper would go. If... Yeah, that's correct. Okay. There's a cradle that's that's designed that will that Everglades makes itself to put them in there. Sean, and how far would it come back? Uh, the, the the sea keeper would probably come out not. Not very far. It would probably be to the first set of fasteners there, past the uh, past the uh, the opening here. Okay, so still plenty of room for still room in there. Yep. Someone like you or I to get in there. Oh, uh, well, you, I can still get in there. Okay. Easily. So, Sean, are these the 425s or the 450s? These are 450s. Okay, so those are new for obviously new for this year. Mm -hmm. um, on your website, do we have all the uh, performance specs? Everything's it? available. So you've already yeah, tested. They, they, uh, the, every boat that Everglades does is thoroughly tested. Yeah, they will not. They don't. They do not use the public as a guinea pig. They want to test them themselves. All right, Sean. W one thing that I really love about uh, Everglades boats is how you've designed uh, the the stairs the ladder to go up into an optional sec second station. That's correct. Um, just very, very thoughtful. I mean, whether, so this boat doesn't have the second station, but it comes with a ladder and it's already prepped for it's it. It's already there. So, you know, with, you know, with today, everybody's got a radar, they've got GPS antennas. Um, even, we even have families that want to go up there and sun. They go up there and throw a towel down and then they, and they get, they get, out, get up there and enjoy the weather. But uh, when we do do the tower, Everglades does a very innovative tower that that actually is uh, allows the boat to be rack stored or trailered. It breaks down in, in about five minutes with two people. It cantilevers apart, and uh, it all, there's no there's no unplugging of rigging or anything. It's 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 really sharp, and it allows for uh, a little more versatility on where you store the boat. That's why I want one. Yeah. Hey Sean, I noticed uh, you guys made changes to the uh, dive door here. We did. We did a beautiful dive door. Uh, what it does is the actual the, the gunnel will actually open up and it opens up to two two cup holders with teak on it. But let me just show you how clean it is when we when we close it off. So we, we wanted to have we wanted to have a full cockpit of combing bolts. Yeah. So what we did now we've 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 had the entire the entire port side and, and starboard side are now combing. In your previous model, this was all all the way up to. There was a little wedge right here, yep. and there was no combing all the way down. And uh, this this was this much was done better. to really yeah this is a much better setup. You picked up a rod holder. Picked space. up a rod holder. You picked up combing you know, all that's the way back. A holder. 
Beautiful. And very clean. It's it's designed properly, so when you when you pull it closed, it latches down and it pulls tight, so it's not leaking. And we saw the entry ladder was stored away in one of those forward. That, yep, it just yep. clips around that and goes good normal. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, Sean, uh, I, I thank you. Yeah, you're uh, welcome. Beautiful you're welcome. boat. I thank believe you. I believe this is my next boat. Yep. Uh, I am going to want the folding tower, though. Yeah, go out, <laughs> you know, pick a bad day, and go for a ride, and see what really makes Everglades special. I'm going to go see uh, I'm going to go see Chris at Garden State Yacht Sales yeah. and uh, take a ride on one. Take a ride uh, once he gets Make it. Make sure it's a bad day because that's when we shine. I will. All, All right. right, thank you very yeah, much, Sean. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Now let's hear from Chris over at Garden State Yacht Sales. This is uh, Chris Gallagher, who you've seen in some of my other videos. Uh, he's the general manager Correct. Of, of Garden State Yacht Sales. And uh, like I said, new Everglades uh, dealership. And uh, Chris, uh, tell us a little bit about the dealership. Uh, We've been in business since 1943. It's a family owned business. We run it more like a boutique business, uh, very high service levels. Uh, we have a really high end piece of property that we operate out of. Uh, we're able to lift up to 70 foot. We have two forklifts. We have a big travel lift. I mean, we really cater to that bigger, hardcore fishing crowd, which made sense for us to segue over into the Everglades product. We've been a Cobia dealer, second largest in the country for the past 12 years, and we needed something for our customers to move up into in terms of quality and size and ability to go further offshore. So. Everglades and Garden State made a lot of sense. Uh, so we have um, Long Beach Island North in New Jersey. Um, that's our territory. South of us is Stone Harbor, excellent marina. So if you're in the south, go see those guys. Um, they've been Everglades for a long time. Um, and we're just happy to you know, work well together with them and handle all the North Jersey people. And Chris, your dealership is is more than just uh, outboard uh, and engine mechanics. You have a full paint shop. Correct. Uh, we, we have a very large, uh, we actually do a lot of all grip. We do a lot of big boat work, uh, a lot of high-end repair. We have all indoor shops up to 40 foot. We put all the boats indoors when we work on them. We have 10,000 square feet of uh, indoor showroom. So if you come see a boat from us, you'll see it indoors in a heated showroom. And we also have one of the largest marine stores in New Jersey that's not West Marine, uh, independently run by us. And um, we also just added on a uh, archery shop upstairs, uh, one of the largest in the state also. So we pretty much cater everybody. We also have 73 slips, catering to a lot of bigger boats. Um, we're right on the Manasquan uh, River, the base of the Point Pleasant Beach Bridge. Um, and we've been there a long time, 22 years in the current format. It is certainly a beautiful marina. It's definitely a quick shot to the offshore fisheries that we have off of New Jersey. And Yeah, you know, we're the, in the inlet, and from our marina, we're in the inlet in less than 10 minutes. And you can be on the uh, Seagirt Reef in 20. And seas. the canyons are only 78 miles to the east elbow. So, yeah. best of both worlds. Well, uh, Chris, uh, you're my favorite dealership. I, I love the Cobia that you sold me. Uh, we get a lot. We have a lot of fun with it. Uh, I can't wait to one day own uh, an Everglades, uh, and I'm definitely going to be buying it from you. And I hope uh, all my viewers uh, consider Garden State Yacht Sales for their next boat. That's awesome. Thank you very much for looking.